Amen. I usually will go next, but I want to just open up. If anybody is there on their way to work, or different ones would like to pray. I'll pray. This is Shonda Pilson. All right, son. Go ahead and get it going. Yes, go ahead, please. Lord, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for another day, God, that we've never seen before. Yes, Lord. Lord, we honor you on this morning, Lord God. We thank you, oh God, for giving us breath in our lungs one more time, God. God, we thank you this morning for giving us a peace that surpasses all understanding, God. God, we thank you this morning, God, for giving us wings like eagles, God, so we can soar, soar through the storm of adversity, God. Yes. God, we thank you this morning, oh, Lord, God, for your your son, oh, Lord, for, oh, God, for dying on the cross for our sins, oh, Lord, God, but coming back, oh, God, so that we may have life and have it more abundantly, God. Oh, God, we thank you, God. We thank you, God. We honor you this morning, Lord God. God, we thank you for single, saved, and serious, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Oh, God, we thank you that you're going to continue to bless it, oh, Lord God. Oh, God, we thank you, oh, Lord God, that you're going to set it, oh, Lord God, where it needs to be, oh, God. God, we thank you, O oh Lord God, that those, O oh God, that that are linked to single, save, and serious, O oh Lord God, O oh God, that they will be blessed, O oh Lord God. O oh God, we thank you this morning for the facilitators of this call, God. O oh God, we ask you to go to Lord God, and bless you, O oh God. O oh God, we thank you, O oh Lord God, for every person on this line, O oh God, that may have a need, O oh Lord God, or, O oh God, that that may be worried, oh, Lord God, for anything that's going on in their life, Lord God. We ask you this morning to be with them, oh, God, and set things in order, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. God, we thank you, Lord God, that you're bringing healing on this line, oh, Lord God. Some people may not have spoke anything, oh, Lord God, that may be going on with them, Lord God, but I ask you right now to touch them from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet, oh, Lord God. Oh, God, we ask you this morning to be, oh, Lord God, with the lonely this Christmas, oh, Lord God. Oh, God, send someone their way, God, to let them knock on their doors, Lord God, to even just even give them a smile or a meal, oh, God, or a simple card and mm-hmm. suicide. Oh, God, even yes, hold at the line this morning, God. Hold us accountable to be able to God, put someone on our hearts that we need to see this Christmas, O oh Lord God, that we may share, O oh God, your love, O oh God, and your peace, O oh Lord God, and your word, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord God. O oh God, we ask right now that you be with the ones that have lost loved ones in this time, O oh God. Be yes. with them, O oh Lord God and put smiles and memories in their hearts, oh, Lord God, that they will have a a great Christmas season, oh, Lord God, even though they have a loss, oh, Lord God. Oh, God, fill their hearts with peace. Fill their hearts with love, oh, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. God, we ask you right now to be with the ones that are traveling to work this morning. Oh, God, keep them safe from all hurt, harm, and danger, Lord God. And everyone on this line and connected, oh, Lord God, to single, save, and serious, God, we ask that you send your angels of protection around their households, oh, Lord God, and place them from the north, south, east, and the west, God. God, we already know, God, that you're moving in a mighty way this morning, oh, God. Oh, God, we thank you in advance for filling every need, God. We thank you in advance for filling bodies this morning, Lord God. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord God, for sending unsaved family members home, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. God, we thank you that you've already heard the prayers that have gone forth and you're moving now, God. Oh, yes, call out to you, Lord. Yes, yes, we yes. call out to you, God. Fuck, we need you this morning, God. We need you to move like never before, God. Mm-hmm. We need you to move like mm-hmm. you can, God. We need you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. For you are Jehovah Jireh, God. You are El Shaddai, God. Yes, we are. 
Father, we thank you this morning for your spirit, Heavenly Father. We thank you this morning for your presence in our lives, Heavenly Father. We thank you for the outpouring of love that you have put in the hearts and minds of so many people. Lord, I come with you this morning with prayer requests. I am lifting up Jennifer this morning that God will look you will look down on her situation. You know it better than we do, Lord. You know what she needs for her household. You put it on the mind of this woman in her office to think of her in a way that would bless her and her household. So we ask, Lord, that you allow this to go forward. I come against any obstacle in that office in person's mind and a person's agenda, and a person's anything that would stop what is about to happen in this young person's life. We speak life. We speak this whole position to move forward expeditiously, Heavenly Father. Let it continue to be on this woman's mind to bless her in this way because we know all good gifts come from you, Lord. So we know that these gifts are coming from you. I call it forth, Heavenly Father. I bring my mind and my voice and my soul to come together and touch again with Jennifer here on this position. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we say that it's done, that it's received, that it is going forward. Dear Heavenly Father, I also have a prayer request of a very dear friend in the hospital. God, she needs healing right now, for she is not even going to be home for the holidays. She cannot breathe. They nearly lost her again last night, Heavenly Father. We come against whatever it is that is causing her lungs to seize and that she cannot even draw a breath, that there is no air moving. We come against it, Lord, touch her lungs right now. In Jesus' name, we ask for healing so this woman can even go home for the Christmas holiday and be with her husband and her children. Heavenly Father, I know that you are coming for to help your people because they're crying out to you, Lord. They need you more now than ever before. We have our homeless people, Heavenly Father, that is so heavily on our minds today. They're walking around without shoes in 32-degree weather, Lord. They're wandering through garbage camps looking for food, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, in any way, shape, or form that we can alleviate someone's problem, Lord, finds a way, but also bless single, saved, and serious as we move forward that we want to be able to do something, Lord. 
Open up the ways and means as we go into 2017 to make a difference in the community, not just in the community of singles, but in the community of people who need you, who need to know about you, who need to see your goodness and your bounty and your blessing. Mm -hmm. There are those suffering, Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, and we can alleviate their suffering and open up our minds and our thoughts on how we can do these things. Who we bring the people we need to partner with, bring the people we need to collaborate with to make a difference in the lives of these people. They're crying out for some relief, and you are our relief, Heavenly Father. You are our source. Help us, Lord, to understand that and walk in the way that we need to walk. Heavenly Father, I also come on here for Chuck. I know that he is looking for a different job that will allow him to be able to serve you fuller and be more available for what you have called him to do. I pray that in 2017 you open up those windows of heaven and pour him out a blessing, Lord. The way my father used to say, there's not room enough to receive it, Heavenly Father. He's looking for increased income and increased ways to bring your word to the people. He's not sitting on a pew in a church saying, this is enough for me. He's saying, no, I've got to go out here. There are people dying. There are people hurt. There are people suffering. And I feel called and led to be the one to bring that message of hope, the message of God, the message of redemption to them, Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I ask that you pour down blessings on this man so that he will be able to fulfill the calling on which you have laid upon his shoulders. Dear Heavenly Father, Mm -hmm. we ask that everybody on this call receive the blessing and the calling in which they have been called. Dear Amen. Heavenly Father, there are those on this call that are called to pray. There are those on this call who are called to praise. There are those who are on this call are called to stand in the gap and worship. Heavenly Father, I ask that you now open the windows of heaven in this coming year. Do not allow them to sit on their gifts anymore, Lord. Allow them to walk in the fullness of what you have called them, the things you have whispered to them in the midnight hour, Heavenly Father, the dreams you, they have woke up in the morning that they know they didn't have that thought the night before, Lord. We know that was you, and therefore I call down to open, open, open. I just hear the word open and come forward. All those who have been called, all those who have an assignment, all those who know that the heart is stirring with something that God has pressed upon you to do, don't be slow, don't be slack, don't be procrastinating. Fascinating, Lord. Move mm. forward in how God has called you. Whatever it is, don't think it's too small. Don't think you're too small. Gideon said, I'm the smallest of the tribes, the smallest in my family, and yet God called him a mighty warrior, and do not fear that I am with you. So, Heavenly Father, let everyone on this call understand God is with them today. Let them move forward in whatever it is God has allowed them, you have allowed them, put on their heart to do, their passion. Lord, their their calling and their desire. Bless it. I could just want to be able to, if I could, I'm going to just virtually lay hands on every single person on this call. Walk Mm. in your calling. Go forward in what God has laid upon your heart to do. Do not fear that you're not big enough. Do not fear that people will not take you seriously. Do not fear that you're going to be rejected by some. That is okay, but God has laid upon you a dream and a desire and a passion, and I need you. The kingdom of God needs you to move forward, dear Heavenly Father. Move into the position that you're supposed to be because the church needs you. The body of Christ as the church needs you. Individuals out here need you. So, Heavenly Father, I'm calling forth those ones as you laid it on my heart to do. Let them move into position. Let them be ready for the, the, the assignments that are coming in this new year. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray for those who are without families this year, who have lost their loved ones. Lord, I lost loved ones around the holidays, and I know it's a hard thing to see an empty chair, to not make a plate for somebody that you always made a plate for, to not sit in the church pew next to someone on a holiday, Lord. Comfort their heart if they're grieving, Lord, 
just wrap arms around them protectively with people and with your Holy Spirit and just usher them right on through this time. Hold up their mental spirits, Lord. Don't let them fall into sorrow. Don't let them fall into depression, Lord. Keep their mind stayed on thee. You said his mind is stayed on me. It will stay in perfect peace. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for those again who are on this call, Heavenly Father. As they leave today, as they're going to work, as they're going, we ask for traveling mercies on wherever anybody could go, Lord. I ask, Lord, that they get to their destination safely and carefully, that they're able to be with wherever they're going, the ones that they're going to see, in all sweetness and all love, Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask that you cover us as we travel this weekend, this holiday weekend. I ask that you bless every meal that everyone can take, take. We ask that everybody bless those that they haven't seen in a long time. I ask, Lord, that they hold hands in prayer, Lord, and praise you for making it to the bottom of another year in Jesus' name. Lord, I just want to just praise you this morning. I just want to thank you for what you have done in my home. It has not been an easy year for me, Lord. I usually don't get on this call and talk about myself. It has not been an easy year, Lord, but I thank you that you've allowed me to stay in the land of the living. You allowed me to be able to move my mouth and praise you. You've allowed me to be able to have something to put on the table for my son and myself. It may not be what everybody else is eating, but I thank you for the bounty of whatever you have provided for my home. I thank you that the lights are still on. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you that the heat is still on, Lord. I thank you that the rent has been paid, Heavenly Father. I thank you for the four wheels vehicle that is in my driveway, Heavenly Father, after having an accident that totaled my car. Lord, I thank you for what you've allowed to remain in my life, Lord. And I just want to bless everybody on this call, dear Heavenly Father. I just want to bless everybody on this call. Love the Lord thy God. Love him with all your heart and all your mind and all your soul. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 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 Do anybody else want to pray? Thank you, Sean, for taking out the Thank you for that. Do well, anybody I, I else want to pray? I, I, this is Jennifer. I don't want to pray, but I just want to encourage because I hear in my heart that 2017 is going to be one of the greatest years that we all have experienced. Amen. And I need, I need everybody to hold on to that in your spirit in the good times and in the bad times, because even as I speak it, the enemy hears it, but greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. So whatever you need to do to secure your greatness in God, go for it, okay? Put those scriptures up around your house, put them in your car, recite them morning, noon, and night, because God has something even greater for us, but many of us have missed some of the greatness because we have not accessed his word. So I need for everybody to access that word in faith, speak it in power. When you quote a scripture, you quote that scripture like you are talking to thousands of people because the power of life and death is in our tongues. And when we speak the word of God, things happen. It sure does. Amen and amen. Amen. Anyone else have a word or would like to um, pray this morning? I do have a word. I actually have a testimony. Last time I talked to you and um, Brandon, I was going through a whole lot. But mm-hmm. the ten, a lot, I have, my son finally got two jobs. He has his own place. We get along better. Me and my baby father, we pray hard together, something we have never done. We pray in the morning. We pray at night. I didn't know how I was going to make it financial-wise, but God been opening doors left and right. I have a whole lot, two houses I clean, 300 a week for one, 250 a week for another, and now he's just making it where it's overwhelming. I have two clients now. I make 100 an hour a day off of one. So imagine if it's three, and then on top of that, Nationwide gave me a 
opportunity to do what it is that I'm trying to do. I want my own insurance company. And I went against so many people who've been in the game for a long time. But he gave me the chance. He gave me favor. He gave me opportunity. So mm. now I will be selling South Carolina and North Carolina binding commercial lines insurance over mm. over the whole. So I'm just it's so overwhelming. I don't know what to say. Some things I have been praying for for years, and I'm finally seeing it. I'm finally seeing it because I believe I have faith. I believe I have faith, and Amen. it's happening. It's Amen. happening. Thank you so much for that praise report. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for calling me. Yes. You don't make me want to run around my whole living room right now. <laughs> I had to keep my composure when that man told me that I'd be starting off $50,000 a year. When he said that I've been making below 25000 for years, mm. and when he mm. said that, and I know I've been working hard, staying up late with these kids, taking them to work with me, trying to study, trying to do all of that, didn't know how I was going to pass, didn't know how I was going to make it as far as paying for it, because, you know, you have to invest in yourself. I didn't have no means. This man paid for everything right there in a matter mm. of 10 minutes. So I strongly mm. believe that if you keep the faith, you stay on a straight and narrow, you keep your, your trust in God, you have a personal relationship with him, and you just strongly believe in him, and you put him before everything. You ask him when it comes to everything, when it comes to your decision-making, when it comes to every move, you ask him to be there. Ask him to be there when it comes to putting people in your life. You don't want all types of people in your life. You want some good, godly people in your life. Yeah, Ever since yeah. I've been doing it like that, I've been prospering, and it's just been so many so many blessings to where I have to ask other people to do certain things because I can't cover it all. Mm, 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 Sometimes mm, I, to be I ask God to overwhelm me. That's what I said. But goodness gracious, I didn't know it was going to happen like this. This is deep. Yeah, what up, Deidre? Hey. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm so excited right now. I thank you, God. And I see how God, you know, when I was just talking about getting into position, God can do it suddenly. Did he not just do it suddenly, Deidre, and get you in position for yes. the next year? So, God, thank you for that. Oh, my gosh. That just makes me feel and wonderful. Every time I talk to y'all, I ask you, how do you fast? I've never done it. How do you fast and pray? That's what I did. That's exactly what I've done. I've been doing it, and ever since, all type of doors just been happening. Like, mm. just opening, just every, I don't even know. It's, it's, I don't know what to say. Sometimes it's just more than words sometimes. Mm. You can't that's, more than that's, words. that's just mm-hmm. praise and worship. That's just praise and worship. And we do honor God for this bounty in your life. It is just beautiful yeah. to hear. And we look forward to hearing how everything transpires with the insurance, with the different jobs. Look at you have mm-hmm. to delegate now. You got so much going on. I love it. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm-hmm. Do you remember Judy? We prayed over her when uh, she asked us to do a special call. And we, yes. We had uh, that's that's Deidre. Yeah. When yes. After we did the prayer that. call, we got on three way. I mean, we got on conference call. And prayed with and her. And came back oh. on and prayed for her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, mm-hmm. that's, her. that's what I remember. I remember her voice. Mm-hmm. Well, we thank you for that this morning, DJ. Yes. Thank you so, so much. That's so encouraging. what we're going to do with this. I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off, but but if anybody else, does anybody else want to pray? Does anybody else? Because what we're going to do now, we're going to have Deidre to end it with prayer. Of thanking mm-hmm. God for for where uh, He has taken her, and thanking God for the things that she's okay, expecting okay. out of God in the near future. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You, yeah. I can pray. This is my first time. Yes, yeah, this is my first time doing it. I'm always by myself, but with Him doing it. Well, <clears> okay. we are here with you. And we support you, 
And, you know, you said it was your first time fasting and look what God does. So don't worry about your first time praying. (laughs) You know what? Obviously, God is giving you power. And I say, Mm -hmm. sister, go ahead and walk in it. Go ahead and walk in it. Yes. And, Deidre, I just want to tell you, you did something that the Word of God tells us to do. Some things only come but by fasting and praying. So by you turning your plate down, God honored that baby girl. So you keep on doing what you're doing. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so go ahead, Deidre, and, and end us in prayer. Call the Heavenly yeah. Father, I would like to thank you, Heavenly Father, for blessing me and so many others, even just waking up in the morning, Lord. I thank you for everything you have done for all of us, and I put up everybody's situations, no matter how great or small they are. I ask God that people mm. become strengthening in you, that they become mm. closer to you, that they see that being nearer to thee can make all things happen, all things possible through you. I ask everyone that's all here that they become encouraged by you, by the word, and by us as a group to keep encouraging each other and strengthening each other spiritually, Lord. I ask that everything Mm. that's going on, I just lift it up. I just lift it up. For everyone that's sick and shut in, I lift them up. Everyone who feel like there's no other way, there's no better love. There's no greater love. I lift them up. Everyone yes. who doesn't have that personal relationship with you and act like they don't know about you, I lift them up to. I lift everyone mm. up. Yes. I lift my family and those who mm. are on the phone. I lift their families up. I lift them up as well. I don't know how else to tell you, but I just thank you. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Mm. And yes. amen. We thank you for that. You know, sometimes people want to feel as if they're not qualified, and maybe that's why God asked me to talk about Gideon this morning. He was considered the smallest. He wasn't even with the rest of the family, and God called him to be a mighty warrior. So I want you, if you can, read that story, but just realize God is not looking at what other people look at. He called him mighty warrior. And Gideon didn't even believe him, had to test God a couple of times. But when he finally got it in his spirit that God was with him, he was able to beat an entire army with 300 people. So you don't know, God might be able to move in your life. He's not able, he is able to move in your life with the small numbers, with the small beginnings, with everything not being the way other people are. And people may have to turn around in amazement at what you're able to do. Because you have faith in God. That is the same line. Thank you so much for that. You have just completely made my day and weekend. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. With all hearts and minds are clear, she closed us out in prayer. I wish a beautiful Merry Christmas yes. for everybody yes. this Christmas yes. weekend. Enjoy the time that we have. Hug those, love those that mm-hmm. God has put into your life. All right, and have a wonderful time. Okay, and always, have a good holiday. Yeah. And always remember, we love you, but God loves you But God you loves more. you more. More, yeah. Amen. 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 All right.
Carolyn. This is Carolyn Charlotte. 